divided by 3 minus 2i plus 2i divided by 3 plus 8i. So I'm looking at a problem like this. Let's look at this fraction real quick. All right, if I was going to give you these two fractions, I said add, what do you have to make sure you have? You have to make sure you have common denominators, right? Okay. It doesn't matter how crazy this looks. What, if I'm going to add these, I have to make sure they have common denominators. So let's write it out. So the LCD, these common denominator, well, of these two, is just simply going to be 3 minus 2i times 3 plus 8i, right? So now, let's go ahead and multiply by our least common denominator to see what we get. So to get 3 plus 8i to my least common denominator, I need to multiply by 3 minus 2i. To produce equivalent fractions, I need to make sure I don't buy on the top and the bottom, right? Over here, I have to multiply by 3 plus 8i. All right, so then last class we we talked about multiplication of our i's. And pretty much we said multiplication of, with the complex number of imaginary units, the same thing, except that when we get i squared, though, we know that that now equals negative 1. So, however, multiplication properties still, still exist. Hence, on the top, we're gonna, or on the numerator, we're going to do use distorted property. So up top, I'll we'll have 3i um, plus 8 i squared, I'll replace that in a second, plus 6i times negative 4 i squared. Yes? Now remember though, the i squared, we can replace all our i squared, so it's negative 1 though, right? It's i squared equals negative 1. So let's go ahead and delete, not delete these, but let's replace these with the negative 1. All right. And then our denominator, we need to apply FOIL. So I'll do that work over here. 3 plus 8i um, times 3 minus 2i. By applying FOIL, I get 9 minus 6i plus 24i minus 16i squared. So therefore it becomes, let's see, that becomes 18i. Uh, plus, or I, that becomes a negative 1, so that's positive 16 plus 25. Everybody check my work? Looks good? Okay, so now I can simplify this. Up top, that's going to become a negative 8, that's become a positive 4, so that's 12. So it would be 12 plus um, 9i over... 18i plus 25. Assuming my algebra is correct. Right? Now we have an expression with a binomial in the denominator. Yes? Make a mistake. Because it's a negative 8 and It's a negative 8, you're right. And that's a positive 4. So that should be a negative 4. Thank you. I missed the negative. And let's rewrite this in, in complex number four. Yes? Okay. So now, because remember in complex numbers, we always want to write in the form a plus bi. So now when we have a, a, uh, a rational uh, expression with complex number in the denominator, now what do we have to do? We have to now multiply by the conjugate. And we multiply by the conjugate on the top and the bottom. Yay. Okay, it is a lot. So um, I do not have 18 times 18 squared on the bottom, so what if I write this? Now I just need to apply FOIL. All right, so negative 4 times 25 is negative 100. Negative 4 times 18i would be a, ne um, a positive 72i. 9 times 25 um, would be 8 times 25 would be 200, so 9 times would be negative or positive 225i. 9 times 18i though, uh, let's see, that'd be 27, um, 317i. Yes. Huh? I don't know, I'm just doing everything in my head. Um, 
Nine, no, it'd be 170. Oh, why am I doing 27? I'm doing like three. 162 I? Uh, yeah. Negative, yeah. Negative, yeah, thank you. Nine, yeah, nine times eight is 72, not 27. I don't so therefore, that's what we have on top. Oh, and then we, oh, um, no, that's I squared, right? I squared, so then that's just gonna become a positive 162. Yes, right? Because it's I squared, so it becomes negative. Then on the bottom we have 18i times 20, uh, 18i, or sorry. So 25 plus 18i times uh, 25 minus 18i, so 25 times 25 is 625. I believe, if I remembered it correctly. I believe, yeah, check. Um, and then 18 times 18, I do not remember 18 times 18. Does everybody have 18 times 18? Huh? 324. 324 I squared, right? So it's a negative 324 I squared. Well, I squared is negative 1, so then that just becomes a positive. Whew, all right. Is this looking fun? So now let's go ahead and add these up. So you have negative uh, 100 plus 162. That's just going to be 62 plus 297i. All over 949. Then rewrite this in complex form. 62 over 949 plus 297 over 4 949. Okay. Um, the other problem.